Okay, so I've been having problems with my boost pressure. Um, just finished building this and decided to do a leak down test and check for boost leaks. So what I've done is off of the intake side of the turbo where the air filter would be, I got a coupler, made it to a plastic PVC fitting and screwed in an air fitting attaching an air regulator and basically a shut off switch to control the on and off pressure I have it set pretty low at about 5 psi um, and that just attaches over to the air compressor so turning the valve over and letting the pressure build inside You can already hear the leak, uh, pretty significant. So then what I've done is I've taken just a bottle of some soapy water and start spraying it all over, checking everything. Let's check the pipes. All these pipes seem good. I want to check all the pipes because I smoothed out all the welds. So all the connections you want to check. And where it starts to leak, you're going to see it bubbling up. Obviously we don't have any leaks there. Leak sounds like it's coming from the throttle body. So if I spray it, you can see it's in the linkage of the throttle body, which is pretty significant. Um, start spraying on all the joints. If you have a leak there, it's going to start bubbling up. Um, another spot I found on the piping. This will show how it starts to bubble up, so you can see. It's got some leaks in the pipe where I smoothed it out there. So I'm going to have to go back and weld that in. Um, another coupler that was kind of leaking down in the front. You can see down there it's starting to slowly bubble. So that coupler has a small leak that will need to be addressed as well. And then I wanted to check everything else so I sprayed down all the intake manifold. And while doing that I noticed that this injector also had a leak in it. So that is potential for a boost leak. Check my fuel pressure regulator connection, manifold connections, those were all good. Vacuum line for the brake booster, which is good. Brake booster itself, it's good. You want to check your blow off valve, which also has some small bubbles, which means a boost leak. So, that's a good way to test for boost leaks and track down their location. Uh, another, another good method would be if you had your pipes separated use a straight coupler something like this two clamps maybe some kind of PVC piece in there to clamp up and the same thing with the pressure regulator and do it in the same fashion